Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Thompson Broadcast booth here at NAB. I'm your host, Kim Kerrigan, and I'm so happy to have my next guest with me. This is Terry O'Reilly, and he is the chairman of Mattis. Nice to see you. It's terrific to be here. Thanks. I really appreciate you stopping by. I know you guys are busy here at the show. Well, it is a big, big show. I mean, it, it has uh, it's always been a big show but it has been growing by leaps and bounds. And now I noticed when I came in today, they're building another hall across the street. So I can only imagine what it's gonna be five years from now. Isn't that the truth? I'm wondering about the parking out there, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> uh, at Thompson Broadcast, let's talk about it. You know, here we are, this is the big launch this week. Uh, here in the United States. Again, you and I were just talking about it. You've known of Thompson for a long, long time. Oh yeah, I mean, anyone who's been in the industry uh, as long as I have knows the Thompson names, knows, knows their products going back decades. And uh, seeing Thompson here again at the show and more importantly having his partners for us in, in some of the work we're doing with the Technology Emmys this year has been a great honor. Yeah, yeah. It's an exciting time for them, that is for sure. Exciting time for you guys too. I mean, tech is really, it's kind of the buzzword, you know what I mean? Everybody's talking about the technical part of all that they're seeing. And that's gotta be great when you talk about the Tech Emmys this week and, and the fun that's gone into that. Yeah, well, it, if, I, if I think back 20 years, um, technology in some ways was an end in and of itself. The technologies were so sophisticated and so expensive that they were, you know, you had financial hurdles to get in, you had training hurdles for people to use the technologies, which drove up the costs even more. But nowadays, um, the cost of technology is lower, the, the, the adaptability of it, the education is required, it's easy to get in. I mean, everybody's got a cell phone, you know how to shoot video, you know, you probably know how to edit if you've ever purchased a laptop. So, so now technology has become less daunting and more of a tool that uh, those of us who are in the business of, of creating uh, interesting programming can use. Um, when I talk to kids at universities nowadays, I talk to them a lot about the fact that you need to now concentrate on being a storyteller because, right. the, because the technology now is better poised than ever to enable you to tell those great stories. You know, uh, Thompson here at the show has been introducing and talking a lot about software-defined television. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's really been a fascinating you know, couple of days for me to learn about it. And I know there's a lot of people have learned from the reps here. Um, but one of the things that they're talking about is how they're gonna allow, because of what they're offering, they'll allow broadcasters to be broadcasters again, mm -hmm. to be on that creative side. Uh, I've been in the business a long time too, and it's a long time coming to come back to that place for broadcasters. Yeah, we're, we're now at that, um there's, there's this juncture that we've hit. There used to be two big trade shows here in, in, in uh, Las Vegas, the, the NAB, which was the broadcasters, and then there was a separate show for all the computer folks. And, and it, they competed for being the biggest show of the year. And now that show has gone away because what was once a whole separate venture is now embedded in everything that we do here. Absolutely. Talk to me about Natus. Natus. Um, gosh. What an amazing organization. I've been chairman now for nine months, roughly. I've been involved in the organization for many years, but stepped up last year and was elected chairman. And in those nine months, we have uh, we now have, well, more than 17,000 members across the country, uh, national galas that we celebrate, technology and news and documentaries and sports. And, and then 19 chapters around the country where we recognize the best of television in, in individual markets and in regions. It's, it's a remarkable organization and, um, and we're really proud of the fact that you know, we have that Emmy, which, which is arguably one of the three or four most recognizable um, uh, emblems of excellence in the world. I, I was saying um, uh, to someone else talking about the Emmy, yeah. and um, it's a mark of excellence. And boy, that puts a lot of pressure on you guys to make sure that you're choosing the appropriate uh, individuals to win, whether it was at the Tech Emmys last sure. week, or I know you guys are headed out, you've got more Emmys coming up, daytime Emmys mm -hmm. are coming up. Daytimes uh, are coming. Right. Well, and it's, and again, we're a, we're a member-based organization, totally people-powered. So when, when when we're doing judging, we're, we're reaching out to peers and, and they are, we are judging and evaluating each other and ultimately honoring the best of what we all do. So it's, you know, it, we don't have a secret group of people hiding away making decisions. It's, it's very much the industry recognizing what it believes is the best of its work and in the case of, of technology and engineering, the best of its products. Oh, 
Sure, absolutely. Let's go back to the Emmys on Sunday night. I was lucky yeah. enough to be there, really enjoyed it, uh, right. that being the Tech Emmys. And Thompson was a sponsor. Tell me why that, that kind of relationship with Natus is important. Well, we feel it's really important as an organization uh, to have representation in our groups of all of those people that, that we associated with, ultimately that we honor. And it, you know, we as, uh, we all come from different places. I was a, you know, I was a journalist for many years and a writer and then I ran some companies. I'm not a technology person and I'm not the right person to be able to, to look at a group of, of suggested entries and be able to say that this is really something that is special and will make a fundamental change in the industry. So we want a diversity in our, in our judging panels and a diversity in the panels that, that we look to for the work that we do. And so having folks like Thompson involved with this isn't just a nice idea, it's really essential. Sure, absolutely. And with this launch, of course, here in the United States, this couldn't have been a better time. Well, they, uh, they picked a good time to be involved because I know the attendance here at NAB this year, it's 90 something thousand people. And uh, I think they've all come by here sometime. Are you in front of the camera? Are you interviewing all of them? <laughs> <laughs> not every, not all ninety thousand, but we're we're getting there. <laughs> Listen, this has been a ton of fun. Anything you want to share with us about Natus that we haven't uh, discussed up to this point? Gosh, only only that um, you know Natus uh, for we started uh, in nineteen the the technology side started as a competition in nineteen forty nine. There were originally only, uh, there were six Emmys given out the first night that we gave Emmys, and one of them was a technology Emmy. Um, it w was for a, uh, a technology that ultimately allowed us to do uh, uh, like little characters that you have, the uh, supers and logos and sure. all the data that goes at the bottom of the screen. And we've come a long way in, the, in, in, in those years. And if you go back and you look at the history of the Emmys and look at the list of folks who've been honored over the years, you know, it really is sort of the story of the journey of the television industry on, on the technology side and also on the, on the creative side. So um, I am just honored to be involved with the organization and to get to hang out with folks like you. Terry, good to have you here. We're so Thanks very much.